Hey there, is, is everyone here? Wow. What is this place? Snakes. Got it. The desert. High desert. Structure that was built by George Van Tassel. Made by wood, so it's not a time machine. Uh, under the instructions of uh, extraterrestrials who visited us, we're on the Yeah. This is the greatest of all my life. So, haven't you ever went to the Joshua Tree viewers? Comment below, please, or link into the description. We're surrounded by mountains up here. Mountains. The California Desert. Yep. And so, I, this is the, this is the, the bush cactus, uh, if you don't know what I mean. This is the land. Wow, this is and then, the road hasn't even been paved yet. we're not, the, ro the road hasn't been paved yet. Yep. And so, so this is, so Dad already told me about the Integratron. Please note, before I end this video, I just gotta, and please note, viewers, before you say, before I end this video, I just wanted to make sure, or to tell you, that there was a man, and that was visited by aliens, who told him, Tigertron is a it's not a time machine. So viewers. Yeah. George Van Tassel. There was a man named him, George Van Tassel. I was visited by aliens who built the who told him to build the Integratron. We're right here, or so. We're in the California desert, and Tegatron is not a time machine because it was made of wood. Please look it up into if you don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I wish I could say anything. Please look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, he died in police custody. Custody. We're in Giant Rock Road. So, viewers, viewers, Google Giant Rock Road if you don't know what I'm talking about.
Look at the sun. So, this is Giant Rock Road. Yep. The road hasn't been paved yet. See, viewers? It doesn't look like a time machine because it's wood. Hello, may I help you? Not cannabis, CBD oil made from hemp. No problem, thank you. Thank you. Look at that, look at that. We have arrived on our destination. But this is not a time machine, Dad. No, it's not a time machine. You have arrived at your destination on the right. On the right. Route That's guidance right. is now finished. But it was designed to give you a window into the past, and the present, and the future. Okay. Now. Aren't you guys seeing this? The Integratron. It looked like it's made of metal or something, but it's not metal. Hello everyone, here I am at okay. the Integratron. That beautiful white dome structure that you see behind me is a structure that was built by Howard Hughes and Mr. George Van Tassel. Van Tassel. Uh, years ago, uh, George Van Tassel was living under the giant uh, rock here. Yeah. He's a piezoelectric crystal, and uh, he was visited by extraterrestrials. Beedoo, 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 beedoo. Um, the instructions on how to build this building back here called the Integratron. It was never used as it was intended to be used because George Van Tassel was arrested in the Inland Empire and uh, he died in police custody. So, in police custody. Very unfortunate and very mysterious, but the way this was designed is that that top dome uh, would spin and the magnetic field of the Earth would keep it moving in perpetual motion and somehow by looking in through the top windows you would be able to uh, view anything that happened in the history of mankind and or even in the future and underneath would ha have been such a chamber as to make a person younger physically younger just by walking in and coming out believe it or not this is fantastic uh, George Van Tassel was a genius he was an intelligent man he wasn't a crazy man and I don't believe Howard Hughes would have invested uh, everything that was invested in building this if, if the idea was totally crazy. It's a shame that it wasn't used as intended. I would love to see it used as intended. We're not here by uh, with a reservation or with an appointment. I'm going to leave. Uh, I'm sure they're pretty paranoid about people out taking them out and everything. But I just want you guys to see it. And we're going to try to schedule a sound bath, uh, which is one of the things that the present owners do. They have sound baths inside. We're going to try to schedule a sound bath maybe next weekend 
and uh, and then we can come in and uh, see the inside of it. But that's the Integratron, okay? And it's Designed not a time machine. Extraterrestrials, uh, uh, given to George Van Tassel. Look up George Van Tassel on YouTube. Look up his videos. Uh, he was a very intelligent man. Uh, he says he was visited by extraterrestrials. They requested him to the spaceship and gave him the plan to uh, the Integratron. I believe him. And, uh, if it were to be used properly, it would actually be a fountain of youth machine. Yes. It would actually be a machine that we can use to make ourselves younger. But I'm buying land here, very close to here. In fact, the property that I'm going to be purchasing is on Giant Rock Road. Hey, Dad. Uh, yes. I have, I have something <laughs> to say to the viewers. It's funny. Right, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, if, viewers. If, if my God can create this world in seven days, then I know he created all of the stars in the heavens, which are suns with other planets spinning around them. All of them. George Van Tassel was arrested and so died in My God is custody. great enough to build us and them. Us and them. Us and them. Look at that. That's the, that is the Integratron. Wow, I should have gone back here and gotten a better view. Oh my wow. goodness, there's a plaque here too. A plaque? The Integratron. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna get out again. I'm going to show you guys the plaque. Okay, okay. I'm going to keep the car running. So guys, this is the Integratron. It was made by George Van Tassel. Look up his videos. He was so smart. He lived, he lived under er, a rock, a giant crystal of some sort, something. And that's when he was visited by aliens. He, he gave him, they, the aliens gave him plans to build the Integratron. Okay, can you read this? Well. Read what's on this plaque. Okay. The Integratron is the creation of... George Van Tassel and his and he is based on the design of Moses Tabernacle Tabernacle the writings the of right Nikola Tesla and telepathic directions from extraterrestrials the domed structure 35 feet high and 55 feet in diameter was originally constructed of wood and fiberglass without the aid of metal fasteners in 1947 Van Tassel began operating the Giant Rock Airport, a short distance northeast of here, and in 1953 initiated communications with extraterrestrials. He subsequently posted, posted 17, look at this, 17 spacecraft conventions for UFO enthusiasts. The purpose of the Integratron is the rejuvenation of the human body, similar to recharging a battery and basic research in time travel. According to Van Tassel, the Integratron is located on an intersection of powerful geomagnetic forces that, when focused by the unique geometry of the building, will concentrate and amplify the energy required for cell rejuvenation. This energy is created by the ev revolution of an e external ring at the shoulder of the bu building generating electrostatic forces that are fed to the stator centered in the lower room. Construction began in 1957, but was incomplete at Van Tassel's death in 1978. Dedicated May 1st, 2005 by the Billy Holcomb chapter of the Ancient and Honorable Order of the Campus Vitus in cooperation with the uh, Morongo Basin Historical Society. Look at the size of this. Look and it's this. and it's made out of wood. It's not a time machine. That's the Integratron people. I'm very glad that I finally have a chance to see it in person. We're separated by several layers of barbed wire, which is understandable. And I'm going to be contacting the uh, owners and try to find out if we could schedule uh, a sound band. Because that's what they do now. They do sound bands. Come on, man. Let's go. They do sound bands inside the Integratron. Oh. Hmm. So this is great. This is great. Uh,
Okay. When I build it over the next couple of years, and you'll be able to see these wonderful things like this at uh, in the Mojave Desert. Thanks for joining us, and we're gonna head on back, right? And and one more thing, I I didn't really end the video. I just paused it, but viewers, <laughs> you went to the Integratron, right? So. So we're going to head back, or maybe we can hang out late, late enough so that a UFO can land, and I can introduce Kai to some aliens. Kai, you want to meet some aliens? No. You don't want to meet space aliens? I'm good. He's good, okay. <laughs> so, viewers, you've seen really, real aliens, right? Yes, thanks for joining us, guys. So comment below if you've seen real aliens. And... And link it to the description or something. We're gonna head on back. Please remember to like, comment, rate, share, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video or something. Peace.